All right, awesome. Welcome back to my CIS app or to my series to improving sleep and making it better, especially improving your quality of sleep. And today I'd like to give you the last strategy that Sean Stevenson mentioned in his, in his book, um, Sleep Smarter, and it's called um, grounding. And I left this one for last because that's the one he presents last and it's also a really cool one. So I'd like to talk a little bit about that. What is grounding after all? And why is it so important for sleep? So let's get right to it. Um, now we are actually much less in contact with the earth. We're locked up in our homes and offices and we don't really go out so much. But the earth's electromagnetic surface has huge benefits and our body is highly conductive. It's made of minerals and water and what have you, right? Our tissues, of course, have minerals in them, whatever, and we have extracellular fluid. Our body is like a battery. I want you to think of it this way. Our body is conductive and it's like a battery. And the earth is like the, the earth is, has an electromagnetic field and we can actually recharge our, our, ourselves by standing in, on the earth bare feet. If this sounds woo woo, stay until the end of the video and I will talk about it in a bit more detail. So touching the earth is actually great for lowering inflammation and that's vital because 90% of physician visits are due to stress and inflammation. So here's a natural way that you can kind of reboot yourself and I'll talk about what I mean by that and kind of, um, reduce stress levels and inflammation by simply coming in contact with the earth. This has been um, shown scientifically as well. Numerous studies have been shown grounding to reduce stress and inflammation, which is what most people go to the doctor for. So here's a natural cure that you can or fix that you can just use and it's so simple or as a preventative measure probably. Um, so neutrophils in your body, which are part of your immune system, actually deliver these things called reactive oxygen species. And I put it in the slides, as, um, in, in, sorry, in the, in the notes of, on this video, it's ROS. ROS stands for reactive oxygen species. And these are molecules that new neutrophils deliver to sites of injury for healing. So when you, um, so inflammation or is part of healing. And so um, you need to heal the injury, if you get a cut or a bruise, neutrophils deliver this reactive oxygen species. But these reactive oxygen species actually carry a positive charge in them. And they're great for clearing damaged cells and all that. But unfortunately, these reactive oxygen species with their positive charge can leak to healthy cells and tissues as well. And these positive charges are caused by oxidative stress and they're created daily by the simply by the daily operations and functions of the human body and they need to be neutralized. You're actually making these ROSs just by breathing, by doing your cellular processes throughout the entire day. And so one way to neutralize these is to create, is to use antioxidants, which are a, mul a, a billion dollar industry, multi-billion dollar industry. And these antioxidants keep the free radicals in check. In fact, your liver makes superoxidase dismutase, what a name, but it's an enzyme that can, that's an, it's an antioxidant and it can neutralize free radicals. So it's like a defense system, which, and that's your body's natural antioxidants defense system. But the earth is the number one source of free electrons. And these electrons can be absorbed via electron transfer. This is called earthing or grounding. And a 2013 study in the Journal of Complementary and Alternative Medicine showed that grounding increases the surface charge on your red blood cells. And that, what it does is it reduces viscosity and clumping of um, the blood to reduce cardiovascular risk. So this is another way you can reduce the risk of heart attacks by simply grounding because your viscosity, you're actually reducing the viscosity of the blood. You're making it less viscous and less sticky, if you will. And of course, that has an effect of better blood flow and a reduction in blood pressure. It also has been shown, grounding has also been shown, as we mentioned, to reduce inflammation, it has been shown via blood counts, and it's great for stress reduction and, shif and shifting to a more parasympathetic nervous system state, reducing muscle tension and improving heart rate variability, which is a measure of your performance of your heart and how resilient it is to stress. You want that number to be higher, and that's exactly what grounding does. And of course, we saw um, other ways you can activate your parasympathetic nervous system other than grounding in the last lecture, like massage, like meditation, etc. A 2004 study also showed that patients who are grounded during sleep had lower cortisol levels during the night and better cortisol rhythms throughout the day. And subjective reports indicated lower stress, pain, and better sleep quality. They also help improve, um, remove the 
ambient voltage or induced electric fields generated by EMFs of your electronic devices. Now I get it, we live in a technology world, we're not, we don't live in a technology free world and we use a lot of devices. So to reduce the impact of the EMF from those devices, ground decanorphing is a great thing, whether it's going 10 minutes outside their feet, on the grass, on the soil, etc. Now we're fortunate to live in a world of technology. Of course, it can cause bad things, but it can also go cause good things. The same technologies can be used to, um, to mimic grounding. There's literally things like grounding pads, which you can keep under your, your desk, or you can sleep with these earthing sheets, literally, which you can put, you know, under your mattress or on top of your mattress. I'm not sure how that works, but when you sleep, you can also be grounded. And so, of course, you can be grounded without technology by spending at least 10 minutes or even half an hour outside bare feet on the grass, on the soil, on the sand in the beach, whatever you want. And of course, that's also good because you reap the benefits of strengthening your feet, improving their range of motion and flexibility, which is also great. And you get the effects of grounding. Or you can use technology like earthing pads, sheets, mattresses, even mouse pads, and even bands around painful parts of the body. All of these are great. Gr grounding is also great when you travel and experience jet lag to kind of, as we saw, it's good for restoring your circadian rhythm. So grounding has many benefits. So try it. Go outside, bare feet, walk a little bit in the grass near your home in the park, or just go bare feet, even on concrete, on any, on any surface, and recharge your body. Get those negative ions, mimic the antioxidant defenses, remove the positive charges that are caused by, by free radicals that are present and can cause aging just by the daily operations of your body and reduce the effects of EMFs caused by electronic device exposure, reducing pain, inflammation, um, improving heart health and blood flow as we saw, and of course, improving your hormonal balance and circadian rhythm.